You guys doing? Great, great, great. Can't believe it's the end of the regular season already. Kind of crazy. Long, short. I mean, what are you? Well, I think it's gone by fast. Um, it, it's a uh, it's a blessing, obviously, to play the National Football League, to be on this football team. I always say it. You know, I, I always believe that I have the best job in the world. You know, and so I'm grateful for it. Um, it's it, season's gone by fast in a good way. Um, we've, done, we've accomplished a lot of good things, uh, and there's a lot more to accomplish. And, and uh, I think the only way to accomplish it is just focusing one day at a time, having a deliberate approach to everything that we do, and um, and, and continue and continue with that thought process. When you look at where this offense is right now. Just how do you assess? I mean, there's been some really good half, like second half last week was really good. First half not so good. Just how do you sort of assess where you're at in terms of? Well, I think that we're scoring a decent amount of points. I think that the thing for us is um, we just have to be consistent, and that's across the board. We have to continue to uh, find ways. I think the great thing we're, that we're doing right now is we're doing a great job on third down. Um, we're staying on the field, and we want our, our guys to stay on the field because we got so many great players, you know, and um, you know across the board. So that's a positive thing for us. So uh, it's just a little bit more focus here and there, you know. And I think that's really, um, I think that's a really the only thing that, that that we need to do, and uh, that starts with practice as always. And we can continue to work and continue to try to uh, be the best that we can be, um, you know, each and every time we, uh, you know, step on the field. When you watched the film on the second half last week, what clicked that you can kind of? grasp on to and try to keep a hold of going forward? Well, I think the uh, the tenaciousness of, of what we were trying to do, I think that really showed up. Um, we kind of had a, uh, a never quit mentality. And I think that really kind of, you have to have that approach, I think, from the first play all the way to the last one. And the more that we can tap into that early, um, it's not easy to do. You have to be able to tap into that. And I think that we have the, the right guys to be able to do that. Um, you know, the, the faster that we can do that, the more that we can you know, sustain that uh, tenacity, I think it gives us a chance to, 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 to accomplish what we want to accomplish. When you've had that, when you've had that, what, what why, why Keep, when we have team, what? Sorry, you've had that tenacity from the first play, first quarter, and you've been more consistent in previous years. Why? What was different about those seasons and those years and those teams? Um, Man, every year is different. I don't know. I mean, every year is different. Um, you know, every every game's different. Um, you know, the opponent that you face is different. Um, so, it, it, to me, I, I think it's hard to compare years and compare situations. I think if you do that, it it's kind of gets kind of confusing and it kind of, um, you know, and not everybody knows. You know, we got a lot of young guys, which is a good thing. You know, I think that we got a lot of young guys um, that are new to the team, you got new, uh, different faces, and and every year that's going to be a new journey. And so. You have to take that journey with it within itself. You know, you can't really look back as much. I think you can use that for experience, especially for us older guys. Okay, you know how how have we built, how have we practiced, how have we communicated. I think those are the foundational things that we have and that we've always stood on. And um, I think that's that's crucial. Um, but in terms of um, you know, finding that tenacity in every game. I, I think that it's just within. I think that it's uh, communication. I think it's execution. I think it's continuing to be engaged, uh, continue to, uh, to find the importance in every single play, every single detail. And the more that we can tap into that, uh, the better chance that we'll have to be successful. And I, I think that that's, that's, really the, that's really the key. And I don't think we're far off at all. I think, we're, I think we're doing a pretty good job. You know, first of all, we're in the playoffs. That's a one positive thing. Second of all, we have a chance. Uh, to do something really great this weekend, um, going against a, a team that just came off a big win, you know, obviously against an NFC West opponent in the Rams. Um, and so, you know, the, the 49ers, you know, they're, 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 they won a big game last week. So for us, we have to uh, understand and know the importance of every moment. And, uh, and once we really capture that and continue to capture that, I think we've done that before. I don't think it's nothing we've never done uh, this year. Uh, I think the more that we can capture that in, uh, from one play to the next, the better we'll be. What's the difference? Some weeks Jimmy Graham gets really involved. Other weeks he gets a couple of catches. Obviously, I had one real big catch last week. But what, what's the difference in the weeks when he gets seven or eight catches versus just getting a couple? Like I said, it, it all depends on oh, different looks. Um, depends on the scheme that they're trying to do and all that. Um, we always want to get the ball to our playmakers. We've got so many of them. Jimmy Graham's a true playmaker. He can do everything that we want him to do. Um, he's catching the ball extremely well at a high percentage right now. He's making plays down the field. He's tough to tackle. He's getting into the end zone. Um, so he's, he's the best in the league at it. So we want to get him the football. Um, you know, I think Doug Baldwin was doing a tremendous job this year, obviously going over a thousand yards again, making plays, getting in the end zone. Uh, you saw the explosiveness in, in Paul Richardson and uh, what he can do. 
you got so many players. I can keep going down the list, and I'm not trying to uh, bore you guys with more and more guys. As you guys know, they've got a lot of great players. And so I think the key for us is uh, continuing to find ways to get the ball and spread the ball out. We've always been that way, too. I think that we always want to spread the football out to, to all our playmakers because it makes it really, really tough on the defense just to zero in on one guy. And when all those guys can make crucial plays, that's an exciting thing for us. Russell, when you look back on the year in totality, how much more of a challenge has this year been, given the injuries you had to work through, the three first-year starters on the offensive line, all the shuffling there? How much more of a challenge has that presented for you? Um. Uh, it's a challenge that you look forward to. I think that you you you, you embrace the challenge. Um, you never want to go into a year with with no challenges, in my opinion. I think that um, you know, for for us, I think that it's it's kind of build the testing of our faith and the testing of our of our perseverance and what we can what we're able to do. Um, and I think that in the long run, hopefully, it'll pay off for us in a, in a good way. And so, yeah, the only thing you can focus on is just having a great day today, um, and, and trying to you know practice at the highest level. Uh, continue to try to communicate um, in the best way possible. Con continue to try to be engaged in every moment, uh, and, and always practicing with a purpose. You know, and so uh, I think that's been the fun part for me is continuing to try to um, elevate. Continue to try to um, you know push myself, push others, um, push our football team just across the board, and and really uh, keeping everybody on the same page of of, of what we're trying to do. And, and that, that goal is just to go one and zero. It's not anything anything bigger than that. I think that when you think too far down the road or any bigger than that, I think things kind of get lost in translation a little bit. And so uh, for us, you try, try to simplify things. And, and I think that's what our young guys up front are doing right now. They, they, you know, they, they stepped up in the second half. They did a great job in the second half. They were able to um, block a very, very good defensive line in the second half there. Um, and uh, we can do that the whole game. And so um, you know, I, I think that I can, whatever I can do to help you know, in, in terms of getting the ball out, if I can, a little bit quicker, or whatever it may be, um, finding ways to extend plays. You know, they got good players too on the other side. You know, this isn't this isn't a one one-sided show. Uh, you know, they got guys that get paid significant, you know, you know amount of money to to sack the quarterback or make plays or you got good defensive backs. You know, all that stuff. So, you know, good coaches. You know, so it's a battle every week. It's the National Football League. It's never going to be easy. And so, um, for us, you have to step up to the challenge and embrace the challenges that you face. When you take sacks or hits early in a game, how do you? Uh, make sure that doesn't affect you later in the game. Well, it's part of the game. You know, I think that you know you're going you know you're going to get hit. You know, you're going to get uh, you know um, you know banged up once or once or twice. But uh, just being mentally tough and staying in there and hanging in there and just trusting the play, trusting the next play, trusting that the offense line is going to do a great job um, and and, and you know, continue to sustain their blocks and and just trust that. You know, I have no doubt in what they can do. I have all the confidence in the world in those guys and and what we've been able to do. So. Um, you know, the goal is for us to just continue to grow, continue to get better. And, um, and that's, that's for me, starting with me, to, to the receivers, to the tight ends, to the offensive line, and to the defense, to the special teams. And, and that's where you, you have that continual rise and uh, continual success. And so if we can continue to stay focused on the process and not necessarily the end result, um, you know, that gives us a great chance to, to, to do what we want to do. Anything else? Thanks, Russ. Go Hawks. So, Ducks.